I'm going to be showing you guys two super simple ways that you can add 3D effects to your music videos. Now before we hop into this, I have to let you guys know I'm uploading every single day for the entire month of May. So if there are any tutorials you guys want me to cover, let me know in the comments as I read all of them. And on top of that as well, I'm releasing my Fast Movement Effects V3 pack on May 13th. If you guys do want to go download the sample version of it, it'll be linked in the description below. And if you guys already have the V1 and V2 and already know you want the V3, you can go ahead and pre-order it on my website right now and save $20. But let's hop right into this. So the first way you can go ahead and add 3D objects to your video for completely free is if you go over to the Creative Cloud desktop app, which you use to download your After Effects, Premiere, etc. You then go down to beta apps here and you want to go ahead and download the After Effects beta because the After Effects beta allows you to bring 3D models inside of it and track them to your scene. And once we have the After Effects beta open here, I'm going to drag and drop this 3D Lean Cup GLB inside of it. And if we go down to our transform, you guys can play with the scale, orientation, and really match it to your scene there. So if we drag and drop this clip inside of here, what we can then do is track the scene and track the lean cup to it. So we're gonna go ahead and track the camera here. What we can then go ahead and do is I'm gonna highlight all the points on the ceiling, right click and create a null in camera. We can then see it's tracked perfectly to the scene, but we do have to resize it a little bit to have it blend. So what I'm gonna do is go over to our position and playing with our very last one here, we can send it backwards into the Z space along with the orientation as well. We can move it to exactly where we want. And if we play it through, we have an effect just like this, which is super fire. It's tracked to the scene, it's looking great. You could also go ahead and keyframe the orientation at the beginning and then go to the end and play with it a little bit. You can just have the cup rotating just like so. See, we have a little bit of a spin to the cup there and that looks super fire. And that is the free way to do this. There are a lot more extra steps in it. And moving on to the second way that you can add the 3D to your videos, you can use one of the 3D packs on my website that are super simple to use and drag and drop. We have a couple options ranging from 3D lean, 3D hearts, nature and in a collab pack with brian we have 3d money these will all be linked in the description below but for the sake of this video we're going to be using the 3d lean effects pack we can open up each folder and inside of them we have bottles floating up a singular bottle floating up we have bottle vortexes we have double cups just like we had before and all of these like i said are just drag and drop inside of your scene you don't have to mask anything and they already look great so if i go ahead and go over to speed and duration and we want to make this 50 percent speed you guys can then see they're 50 percent slower and it looks fire if we put this between our two clips you guys can see we have a fire transition just like this now what we can add for these scenes which i think will look really good is if we go ahead back into the vortexes open up the bottles here so if we crop this to yeet here and then go over to effect controls and resize it to match him perfectly we have a cool effect just like that now i recommend going into your position and scale and just have it follow him around a little bit more just like this boom just like that as you guys can see it's going to slow down right about here Right there, it slows down. We're gonna go to the exact frame it slows down, cut our bottles, and speed and duration them to 50% speed, which I think looks amazing there. And then right where it speeds up, right back here, we can change it back to 100. Build texture on top of it as well. What we can do is drag and drop this other bottle vortex on here, drop it to our footage. And as you guys can see, they're flying across the screen. So it builds more depth in the video. That looks super fire there. So I really recommend you guys go ahead and play with the pack and make it to your liking. For example, if we take this bottle right here, you can have this bottle come in just like that and open up. We have a cool effect just like that where the bottle opens up. Go to this scene here. We can go back to our double cups here. We can drag and drop the double cups floating up here. Crop that to our scene. As you guys can see, the scene is moving from left to right. So what we're going to do is also do that for our double cups here just so they match. And you can duplicate it a few times, move the cups around and scale them to different points. I, I got and for this very last one here, we're going to go ahead and use my favorite part of the pack, which is the liquid paths here. Drag and drop this on and move it to about here, for example. We have these liquid lean paths that just fly around the scene. I think it looks so sick. If we change this to 250 speed. And if we go over to effect controls here, you can then play with the motion of it and resize it so it goes across the scene. If we go ahead and play the full thing through, we'll have an effect like this. I, I got so on the way. And see how simple that was? No rendering, no tracking, and none of that. And it looks so clean. Now to spice this up a little bit more, what we're going to use is my Fast Movement Effects V3 pack, which is on my website for pre-order. And if you guys do want to go ahead and download the free sample version, it'll be linked in the description below for free. Now to use this pack, we're going to go into our project, right click and create an adjustment layer. And we're going to drag and drop an adjustment layer in. Now holding alt and dragging, we're going to make a few of these because we're going to be using the effect a few times. Now if we go over to our effects, 
effects here, open up our presets, and then open up our fast movement effects v3. We have a few rules here on how to use it. And if we open these up as well, we have so many different hits, camera shakes, transitions, and wipes. Right where this beat hits here, it doesn't chop. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this to six frames. Once we have it trimmed to six frames, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop one of these hits on top of it. I'm going to go with the aggressive hit with flash. And now for this one as well, let's go ahead and drag on the soft motion blur hit. And if we bring this hit right between these two transitions, we have a clean transition just like this. Now in between these two clips here, we can then put another adjustment layer. And let's say, for example, we want to go ahead and put a white transition. So let's go with our fast wipe right here and play this through. We have a super cool wipe effect. This is before, this is after. And then for our very last one here, let's play around with one of these shake transitions. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop on the shake transition with flash here. I got some see you. I got some see you. Look how fire that is. This is without it. I got some see you. This is with it. That's some see you. So gas. If we play this all the way through with the effects, we'll have something like this. I got some see you on the way. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading, like I said, every single day for the rest of the month. I'll see you guys in the next one.